There it goes. Verse 12, Romans 5, verse 12. So this is where we're going to get into it and connect these. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, we know that's Adam, right? And death through sin, and thus death spread to all men. Okay, so in Romans 6.23, it says that the wages of sin is death, right? So it says that through one man, Adam, sin entered the world. So sin came in. What's the result of that? Death through sin. So now we're seeing that sin is bearing fruit. Sin is bringing results. It's reproducing things in this world, in humanity. And thus death spread to all men. See, you understand that? Not just some, all men. Mm-hmm. Death. And we look at that and we think of death, but death is the wage of what? Sin. 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 So if it says death spread to all men, right? Death spread to all. Is it M E N or M E? Oh, well. Yeah, yeah M to all men, right? Death did. But death is, is it, it comes about why? Why how did death come about to humanity? Through sin. So in reality, sin through one man spread to all men. Because death only came because of sin. You guys see that? Yeah. So it's, it's 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 simple. All men. So again, why does it say none is righteous? None understands, none seeks God, none does good, none does things that are profitable because sin, and because of sin, death spread to all men. Christ died for the ungodly. We were without strength and all have sin. So, boom, we got that. Every man is born from the nature of Adam. Every man is born uh, because of the fall. Every man is born through that fallen state and through that sin that took place in the garden in the beginning because Eve was deceived by the serpent. So every man was born a sinner. And what do sinners do? Sin. All have sin. Cool? Okay. Is it good? (laughs) All right. Nevertheless, verse 14. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Okay. So a lot of people say this. People only sinned because God gave the law to men. Because it says that the, the uh, it says the strength of sin is the law, right? Because when the law comes, it makes rebellious mankind like want to like do those things that God says don't do. Because right. that's the nature of sin. The nature of sin looks like don't touch that table, no. and you'll want to touch it even more than you already been thinking about. Right. That's what the law did. However, sin was still present before the law. Even though the law made it more um, visible, it made men more like, um, like desirable of it, it was still reigning before the, before the law was given through Moses. Because it says in verse 14, Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who is a type of him who was to come. So, but the free gift is not like the offense. For if by one man's offense many died, right? Mm -hmm. Much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. So, let's see. Um, You you were saying like the law brought that desire, that strong desire for people to even say more? Yeah, like it kind of like amplified that desire because... If we see, like, if we go back to Genesis, and we will next Sunday, uh-huh. um, I just wanted to touch on this and then go back to Genesis. Yeah. Um, we see that as soon as men fell, um, Cain and then Abel were conceived, uh-huh. and they were born. And uh, Cain killed Abel. Yeah. So, like, sin was already there. Uh-huh. Like, right. as soon as men fell, sin's already, sin's already taken over. It's already in man. Canada. It's already in the nature. It's already going down. Everything's spreading. And death spreading, everything spread because sin came about. So it was already there, just like it says right here um, in verse 14. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, from Adam to Moses, not from Moses to Christ. Yeah, yeah. from Adam to Moses, death spread. What brought about death? Sin. So that that was there, that was present. 
when the law came through Moses, it was it was more like that. It was more like, okay, I have, I'm a sinner. I have a sinful nature. And God says to not um, to not commit adultery. And he says to not um, covet. And he says to not worship false idols, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And this sinner in me, I'm just like, by my own strength, mm -hmm. I'm trying not to do it. Not only because I feel like I shouldn't, now I know that God says we shouldn't. And that's making me more like, don't do it, Nick. Don't do it, Nick. Don't do it, Nick. What am I, what am I doing? I'm being more conscious yeah. of sin. The more you think about something, the more it's going to have your attention and eventually yeah. your desire. So that's why in the Old Testament, people had to keep doing those rituals. Had to keep coming once a year to sacrifice, to worship, to, to offer things, blood sacrifices, because there is no remission without the shedding of blood. So God made it about because God knew man was going to fall. Now, you might say in the Old Testament, you see that God calls some people righteous. Uh -huh. But it says none are righteous. Why did he call them righteous? Because they were they were living according to the law. Not they were obeying every single thing, but when they were mess up or do something wrong they'll hurry up and worship hurry up and offer something that's where people get the idea of it's okay to keep jacking up as long as you say i repent forgive me, yeah. forgive me. they get that from old testament so, image. They, so the old testament um when they did when they went against the law that's when they had you know submit a sacrifice yeah or yeah to get forgiveness for what they just did wrong yeah even the the priest mm -hmm. Even the priests would do that. Even the priests would have to go through purification and, and this and that and worship and sacrifice so that they would be clean enough to go into the temple and offer them for the rest of Israel or the rest of the people who come to Jerusalem to the temple and stuff like that. So they kept doing it. Yeah. Like they would be called righteous, but like David, for example, he was called a man after God's own heart. How many sins did David do? Yeah, yeah. Like how many of the Ten Commandments did he break that we know of? Like uh -huh. it was serious. Like he murdered adultery, all types of stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> His son, Solomon, he's called the man of wisdom. Well, how many wives and concubines and parties and drunkenness did he have? So much. like So, so it's like they were called righteous and men of God, but that's because they, they would always come back to the Lord and they would always come back with a sacrifice, with a worship, with a, well, with a repentant heart and, and, and wanted to be made right through the shedding of blood, not of Jesus because he wasn't there, but of the animals. So. Yeah.